This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Good job. Thanks, BD-1. Don't fall behind, BD-1. something in there? Try again. It's difficult, Master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Again. Good. Again. Now, reach my position. I did it. Persistence and the Force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. Think you can show me that shortcut again?
See there? Oh, it's on. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this Vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. <laughs> I've been alone for a while now, without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live, not for a Jedi or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine?
think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. BD-1. I use this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement.
Don't fall behind, BD1. You passed the test. So you knew about BD1? <laughs> Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patoli weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Death mirrors Zepho. It's your choice. So next, let's go to... Setting course for death. Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. You must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of Force wielders known as the Night Sisters. They used the Force? What, like Jedi? No. These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, illusion. Manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. Don't have to tell me twice. Ah, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid.
Cal, be careful here. I think we weren't standing there. What is that thing? You wouldn't count on them being friendly. Nice job. Don't fall behind, BD-1. Where are you going? So what was in there? Get going, BD-1. Looks like the Zepho were here. Strange. This 
place seems abandoned, but... You trespass, Jedi. You must be a night sister. I had heard you were all dead. Not all. Dothamir is forbidden to you. Leave at once. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that, but perhaps we could help each other. You see, I... Easy. I'm not your enemy. Your actions say otherwise. Wait, hold on. I'm not here to... Little help. 